Okay, so this is from Friday, October the 25th. I went to the Black Box Theater with my niece. We saw a play, Lopsided, and it was about a woman who had breast cancer. I really enjoyed it. My family didn't think so because I'm going to put in a picture here. This is me when I was going through chemotherapy for stage 4 cancer. I had fought stage 3 Rectal cancer, I had a lot of surgeries, radiation, chemotherapy, and about a year later, 18 months later, it came back into my lungs, so I needed lung surgery and then more chemotherapy. Here's a picture of my sister, Sarah, with me. She was going through chemotherapy at the same time as me. She had stage four lung cancer. Sarah really loved to laugh, so here's a picture of me wearing a funny hat that her son had ordered for her when she had no hair. And I was over to her house, and we were laughing. And that's one thing I'll always remember about her. She just loved to laugh. I wish I had pictures of us to put in when she's all dressed up and feeling well because we love to go out singing and dancing and getting dressed up but I I don't have one right now I'll maybe later I'll put one in and a picture of me when my hair first started growing back my sister called me fuzzy wuzzy and then I'm gonna put this picture in which is from Saturday night I went out to hear a band I was in the bathroom and I uh, could take a back shot of my curls. So there's my curls growing in. I'm starting to feel better. It takes time, but I am starting to feel better. Okay, so, hmm, what's up guys? It's, uh, Sunday. We're almost done with this Vlogtober thing. Not that I've been doing great. Okay, it's Sunday, October the 27th. And it's raining out. This month has seen us go through the fall changes with the leaves. The leaves changing colors. The leaves falling off the ground. Um, it's raining again today. I don't know if I already said that. I'm very tired. Um, I'm knitting. Let's see. I've turned the heel on my second sock, so that's, um, progress. <laughs> I've never used this yarn before. It's this, um, Premier Serenity, and it is 50% superwash merino, 25% rayon made from bamboo, and 25% nylon recommend a size one needle and I'm knitting on size zeros so this sock I think I've probably already shown you this sock is completely done and this is the sock that I cast on when I was at Knit East at the beginning of the month so I'm anxious to get it finished by the end of the month um, for two reasons first of all 
I like to knit a pair of socks every month and the second reason is I have a lot of really beautiful beautiful yarn that I'm anxious to cast on and using bigger needles the Christmas present so it's time to get going on the pre Christmas present knitting and put away the tiny tiny size zero needles for a while those sock knitting it's just my favorite I can't explain it when I was going through chemo, I couldn't hold the little tiny, tiny needles. So I made a lot of scarves and cowls out of chunky yarn with bigger needles. And I really think that that saved my fingers from neuropathy because I just can't feel the very, very tips of my fingers. And the strength of my chemo is really strong. My oncologist was really surprised. She said that I should feel like um, somebody had hit my funny bone. Just what is that? Oh, it's part of my camera. Um, so I've been lucky with that. I think knitting's really helped me in a lot of regards. Uh, first of all, it's, it's really relaxing. It's something I enjoy. It is a community thing. You can get together with other people and knit. Um, yeah. So today's Sunday. I just want to say I really miss my sister. My sister that passed away from cancer. Um, she gave me this necklace right here it's really beautiful so she she gave me this necklace before she died um we had a party that she hosted and she gave all of us presents that she had bought for us and um so she bought me this necklace and it's a it's a fall color so i don't wear it in the summertime but i wear it in the fall and i wore it to church today and the choir saying I'll fly away and it was just yeah I miss her um we have a small choir they're like eight people nine people but there's really really good and I just told them how much their music touched me today and I did cry, but I don't, it's not necessarily tears of sadness, it's tears of release, tears of release. And, well, it's okay, it's okay to miss somebody. It just goes to show how much they touched your life, and how much you loved them. And... I think that's the biggest compliment that you can give to somebody when they pass on is that their memory is so dear in your heart that they made that impression in your life and that you love them so much. So that was kind of um, my day. My sister Sarah, she was my sewing and knitting buddy and she understood my love of fibers and how excited I would get and well you know if you knit yourself or sew or whatever you're part of the same tribe so you understand what I'm talking about and what else did I do this week well, I, I just really wasn't feeling well I was in the ER on Monday um they wanted to admit me, but they admitted me in the summertime for the same thing, and I was there for four days. But my son was at camp, and now he's not, so I wiggled my way out of there by 6.30. I was like, I have to go drive my son to school and, and do stuff. And maybe, maybe that was a mistake. Maybe I should have stayed for a few days and gotten some rest, but I'm feeling much better. Today is my last day of antibiotic, and, you know, once that antibiotic's gone, then I won't have the upset stomach and stuff like that from the antibiotic. So, I'm hoping going into this week that it's a better week for me, health-wise and energy level-wise. Although, I've done a lot this week. I mean, I went to knitting group on Tuesday, um... Did my the thing with my son Tuesday night? I did something, and I worked Monday and Friday. Yeah, I 
Monday I got out of the hospital and I drove my son to school and then I turned around and went to work. Um, and then, I'm trying to think. I did more. Yeah, fri Friday night I went to a play with my niece. Um, that was really nice. That was in the black box theater. It was a play about breast cancer, so I think some of my family was surprised that I wanted to go, but I was interested to see what the playwright's take was on the subject. And the staff had a lot of, the cast, not the staff, the cast had a lot of talent, so it was really nice. I like to go see live theater and that was really nice. And then last night I went out to hear a Motown band and do some dancing and that was really nice. They started a little later than most bands that I go out to see. Um, so I stayed home and knit until that time. I turned the heel on my sock so that was productive. I could have gone to another band and then gone to the band I wanted to go see, but really, I mean, my room's so cozy. Can Oh, it just turned off. I have a fireplace. I have a, you know, when it's damp and rainy, it's just, I like hanging out in my room. It's nice and cozy and knitting or listening to music. I do turn the music off when I do podcasts because I don't want it over drowning me. And also, I don't want, like, the... YouTube computers to pick up on my music and shut me down for some type of copyright infringement or whatever. Yeah, so we're wrapping up October. And I hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you're having a good month. Okay, love you. Mwah.